हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग डिफरेंट वीडियोस ऑन माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्पार्क स्ट्रीमिंग सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर टॉपिक्स लाइक व्हाट इज काफका एंड हाउ इट इज यूजफुल एंड बेसिक्स ऑफ काफका एंड बेसिक्स ऑफ स्पार्क ऑल्सो सो आई फेल दैट इट इज राइट टाइम टू इंट्रोड्यूस स्पार्क स्ट्रीमिंग एंड हाउ काफका एंड स्पार्क can be used together to make some incredible incredible uh, applications so let us first understand what is spark streaming so uh, so traditionally in spark uh, we do batch processing spark was designed keeping in mind new data early so there is a time frame right so your job doesn't keep on running in streaming applications what happens is that you are getting continuous stream of new data your new data is always coming it 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 doesn't stop so what happens uh, is that uh, uh, now how spark uh, you know solve this uh, uh, problem so spark says that uh, you define a time interval uh, like 5 seconds and uh, whatever new data has come in those 5 seconds it will create a rdd then you do batch processing on that rdd in next 5 seconds the new data whatever has come you process that data so uh, in spark streaming uh, streaming is a continuous flow of rdds so as soon as a new rdd arrives you do some processing on that rdd so this continuous stream of rdds is called d stream so d stream is a data structure which is wrapper on top of rdd which we have used in spark core uh, uh, so you process that d stream uh, you apply operations like map filter map partition and all that and you generate one more d stream and then you can dump it uh, your output also somewhere so uh, in spark streaming we get input stream of uh, some data and spark streaming takes uh, batch approach to solve it this is called mini batch so the uh, concept that i just now explained is called mini batch basically new data is always coming in and you are generating uh, a new rdd every 5 second and you are running your batch logic your normal data processing logic uh, after every 5 seconds so our uh, basically this is batch only but this batch is running very frequently after every 5 uh, seconds so that's why it is called mini batch so there are other tools in market like flink which uh, uh, doesn't follow this mini batch kind of approach they are more responsive to input stream data like uh, uh, you know uh, one message is coming in it will it will take that up and process it kafka streams also follows the similar philosophy of uh, you know message you get a message you process it and move on so spark is following a mini batch kind of approach so reason being that spark evolved from a batch processing system so it is a complete tool which gives you functionality of batch processing uh, you know uh, uh, functionality of uh, machine learning and stream processing and all these things so uh, that's why spark is following this kind of architecture so i hope uh, this is clear uh, this was more of an introduction to spark streaming i will cover more complex topics of spark streaming uh, in my future videos and uh, uh, i will also cover uh, a few examples of spark streaming and how we can use kafka and spark streaming together uh, please subscribe to my channel and share the videos with your friend if you have any doubts any questions and if you want me to cover any questions please post it in comment section i'll be very happy to cover that thank you